Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. The next few months will be crucial for many uh, New Hampshire small businesses. It's a make or break time, especially with those businesses that might need more stimulus, which is not coming. The Small Business Development Center, which is based at the University of New Hampshire, has just conducted a small business survey among more than 1,500 businesses and on resiliency in a crisis. Uh, what has caused you to experience financial losses? And here are the items. You can see the big ones, decline in sales, reduced hours of operations, uh, not an essential business, and supply chain interruption, and un employees unable to work remotely. Those are the big ones. And then the next uh, graph, really, actually, it's a circle that shows you the real problem here that Liz is dealing with. Do your businesses have a resiliency or continuity plan in the event of a disaster? Well, you can see 71% said no. And that is a problem that my guest has to deal with uh, with her clients. Now, the next the graph, which of these innovations or uh, modifications do you think your business will use and continue to use after the pandemic? E-commerce, number one, very interesting. And then uh, collaborating with another business, that's also very interesting to me and offering new products or services and take out with the next big ones. And of course, employees working from home. We all know that is the new normal for the moment. And then finally, based on what you know, how confident are you that your businesses will continue uh, to be uh, operating in one month versus three months versus six months and versus 12 months? And you can see it declines month after month with 70% saying they're confident uh, after one month but only 40% in 12 months. So uh, stimulus is probably going to be needed uh, even though it's not here at the moment. With me to talk about all this is Elizabeth Gray, Executive Director of the Small Business Development Center here in New Hampshire. Welcome, Liz. Thank you so much, Fred. Uh, based on the results of that survey you conducted, how concerned are you with the ability of uh, these businesses to survive in the next few months? You know, I think businesses have been struggling for months. We saw that in the survey. We've been hearing a lot of anecdotal stories and they're going to continue to struggle. I think the cold weather will bring new challenges for our restaurants and our tours and businesses. The rising COVID cases will affect business decisions and safety policies. You know, unfortunately, there is still a great deal of uncertainty for businesses. But what we're trying to encourage folks to understand and know is what is certain is that SVDC has been here for 36 years and we are committed as ever to continue to support small businesses through whatever challenge is next. Well, from personal experience, I know you're an iconic assistance to small business in New Hampshire. And uh, the objective of your survey was to see how many businesses have plans for resiliency and continuity in the case of a disaster. And the graphic we just put up in the screen shows 71% didn't, 10% didn't know, and 19% uh, had such a plan. It's my assumption your organization is going to do something about that. We are. You know, we, we weren't, um, we were a little concerned with those numbers, but as a response to the 73% of businesses that said it will be important for them to develop a resiliency plan going forward, we decided to partner with the UNH Cooperative Extension. And we're bringing New Hampshire its first ever small business and community resiliency academy. Academy wow. attendees, we plan to have them walk away with the tools they need to develop those very individualized resiliency plans. And that's online, when does that start? Yeah, the academy itself um, will be um, early next spring. However, we're doing some uh, webinars on October 21st and 27th to start talking a little bit more about what the academy will bring and how businesses and communities are gonna come together to solve some of their challenges. And we're, and we're gonna push your website up in just a minute, but uh, what specific programs other than that are you offering right now, given the pandemic in particular? Yeah, you know, at the start of the pandemic, we, we saw thousands of businesses coming our way. And to help address that demand, we started running webinars. So that's a, a kind of a new thing for New Hampshire's SBDC. And we're encouraging folks to come. So we've got some on PPP forgiveness, on cash flow, on accounting, on marketing, and the, and the new normal. And so that's one big way. We've got some new e-courses that are going to be coming online on a variety of topics. Um, but of course, our, the number one way for businesses to connect with us is through our advising. And that is, you know, the highly individualized, confidential, uh, expert advising services that SBDC provides wow. at no cost. And briefly, you have offices around the state. We do. We have regional advisors in every part of the state. So uh, your web, uh, web address I'm putting up on the screen, uh, nhsbdc.org. 
And if you go to that website, you'll be amazed at what is available to you as a small business. Elizabeth Gray, Executive Director of the Small Business Development Center in New Hampshire. Thank you. Thank you so much.